Aquarius, Aquarius rising and those with their moons in Aquarius this July, you got to watch for your mental health. I'm Trina, your intuitive guide from Peace River, Alberta, helping you navigate life's energies. All right, Aquarius. So we have the sun in Cancer, June 21st to July 22nd. So this energy of the sun is shining up your sixth house. Now, your sixth house is mostly about health. It can be a little bit about your work, your day-to-day -day routine, your work, that kind of thing, and some about your pets. July 3rd is the full moon and it really focuses a lot of attention on your 12th house, the hidden, the unknown. So if you mix the hidden and the unknown with health, what do you got? So you have some, maybe some health issues here that are coming up or you're focusing on your health, but the 12th house can be spiritual. So maybe it's spiritual health. So that's one way that could manifest is working on our spiritual health, our mental health and our stress and all the yucky thoughts, you know, always keep yourself positive and do your affirmation work and do all your spiritual stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Okay. There's that. Now, the other way that this can pan out is at work gossips and rumors. You do not, do not, do not, do not Aquarius be part of that. If you hear anything, it stays in your ears and doesn't go anywhere. Zip it because it's going to bite you in the butt. If you engage in gossip rumors or anything like that by the water cooler with the other guys and girls, don't do it. Stay away from the gossip. And because a secret will be revealed in July having to do with your work. So it's best for you to stay quiet. My mom always told me this one thing. Silence is golden. And I, when she says that, she means in certain cases, silence is golden. It's best to zip it because you'll just make it worse. It'll karma will bite you in the butt. Uh, karma will bite you in the butt in the future if you don't. Now, besides all that, Aquarius, we did get some romance happening for you in um, the new moon, new beginnings, June 18th. So, you know, you're getting this uh, new beginning in creativity, being like a child again. You're probably like playing with your kids more, being involved with your kids more. But this can also be a new romance, you know, meeting someone new, especially if you're, you know, you're single and ready to mingle and you're ready to meet someone new. You're, you're ready for a little romance. Well, this could be a very good time in July to, to meet someone, okay? And it could even be meeting someone at your work. Or it could be meeting someone having to do with pets. So getting on a dog walking group uh, where you walk your dog with other people like or you're volunteering your time at the SPCA and you walk dogs and then you meet like the love of your life there. Be <laughs> I know I, it can be really random like that, but it is a lot about getting out there and uh, getting into the day, you know, getting out so people can meet you. Nowadays, we're all so busy looking down at our phones. We don't even look at the sky. We don't look around us. We're, we're, we're disengaged with nature. We're disengaged from other people. And so Aquarius, you know, especially with your demeanor, being an Aquarius where your mind is always so futuristic, you're way up there in the clouds, you know, uh, with new ideas and new futuristic thoughts and that, right? But sometimes it's important to ground yourself into this reality with the real people that are in your video game of life around you and engaging with them, especially if you want a relationship or especially if you want to uh, feel happy and healthy. This is very important. Being like a kid again, having fun, being creative. All these things will help you with the health stuff too and with the mind health stuff. Too, right so that's important for us Aquarians now we do have some money and some interesting energy happening in our seventh house of new commitments so I could see some Aquarians especially if you own your own business you're getting some new contracts in you're getting some new commitments in which is great new one-on-ones new new clients new uh people buying your stuff that's cool now on another way this can also mean a new commitment where like let's say you have already a romance or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or somebody like that. And now you're going to take it to the next level. You're maybe even talking about marriage or you're talking about now a long-term commitment. Or for some of you, it can be a new job that you're looking at and maybe they make you the offer in July so that you can go into the new job that you've been waiting for. And it's always going to be the one you really, really, really want. 
Okay, that's how we manifest. What do you feel like is the best for you? What makes you happy and tingly and you know that. So focus on those kind of feelings, okay, Aquarius? It's very good. Now Saturn, our ruling planet besides Uranus, but I'm going to talk about Saturn because Saturn went retrograde for a while here. Now, this is in our second house of money. We need to properly plan for some delays or disappointments when it comes to income and money as well, you know. Um properly plan for for financial uh disappointment it could be a case of just being more patient it could be a case of being more efficient in your business you know do you need to have five different websites and five different things like whatever like it could be all about streamlining your business here in july as well that's going to help relieve any possible financial disappointments it could be like you're spreading yourself too thin money everywhere especially when it comes to your business it's time to whoosh, reel it in folks okay aquarius you really want to do that what can you get rid of that you don't need and how can you streamline i know lots of you aquarius risings have been changing your platforms so you're starting to look at systems that are involving everything like attractwell.com or kajabi or any of these like platforms that have it all in one lots of you are changing over to that and starting to have everything under one umbrella where you can like manage things and be more efficient right maybe some of these jobs you don't like doing in your business you could hire out to a virtual assistant lots of you are starting to use the chat gpt to help you with certain things that took you hours to do before you know all that technology stuff as an aquarius uh, energy person right that's definitely going to help plan for any possible um, disappointments as well so there's also a lot about a thought for Aquarius about your, your value when it comes to work. Some of you is like, am I getting paid enough? Could I do more to get paid more? What could I do? There's lots of changes in the way you value yourself as well, Aquarius. So enjoy that journey. I mean, we do have lots of Uranus energy happening for us and we are also run by Uranus and so that is in our fourth house of home and family so what does that mean well a lot of you guys Aquarians can have a side gig in addition for additional income and that's up to you to figure out what that side gig is okay I can help you with that with the reading so if you like these kind of readings, I do offer video readings. What's my best career? What should I do this year? Also, and where I look at your charts and the stars and the cards, I look at all and I do a cool video and you tell me where you want to go. Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to Italy? Do you want to go to Rome? Where do you want to go for your reading video? And if you like things in person, well, I do offer a Zoom session um, online from anywhere in the world, as well as at my reading room in Peace River, Alberta, next to Valley Health. So there's a lot of options for readings if you like that Aquarius. All right. So thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.